So I'd like to show you the uh, code uh, as it would look like if we were working with arrays. Uh, one way to declare the array is again we would just basically have our variable example array 1 and say that it is a of type integer array where we have the open bracket close bracket and I can easily put a semicolon there and end that line. If I do that on the next line or some subsequent line after I will have to assign to that example array 1 the memory allocation for the number of locations that I want that are of type integers. So here I have example array 1 equals new int create a memory allocation all 24 integers. Uh, and that is actually the same thing as line here 10 with the exception that I've changed the name of the variable. int bracket bracket example array 2 says declare the variable example array 2 of type integer array and set that equal to the memory that's allocated or new memory allocation of 24 integers. You can do them both in the same way. Uh, you might declare, uh, the reason you might do the first instead of the second is you might want to declare the array first uh, and then you may point it to different sizes of arrays later based on cer certain values within the program. And then to use it, we would say example array 1 bracket 2 is equal to 7, example array 22 is equal to 8092. Um, one note that if you were to try and do example array 1 space 24, which is the 24th location um, of the array, notice that the array really only has 24 locations, but you're trying to access the 24th location or the 24th index. Uh, this would return what's called an array out of bounds, I just want to write this here, out of bounds exception error. Um, and what this does is this tells you that you've, tr you've basically tried to uh, access a portion of the array that is out of bounds, either the number of the index was too small or greater than what the actual memory was allocated. Uh, so the largest number in it, int 24, is actually going to be 23 and the smallest number is going to be 0. Now there's another way that we can do this. We can actually create, in this case, example array 3 and say it is a string bracket bracket. So example array 3 is now an array of strings. And I can immediately initialize it. So I can set it equal to, here's an open brace and a close brace. And then I will assign it the actual uh, values that I want each one to have. So the zeroth location would be Sun Solaris, the first location would be HPUX, the third location would be Linux, the fourth one would be Windows and Macintosh. Uh, I could create another one if I wanted to that would be very similar and I could say int bracket bracket example ARR3 so this ARR4 so this is a new variable called example ARR4 which is an integer array and I might basically do something that looks like this where I create uh, a number of items that I want to go into the array. Since within the braces there is one, two, three, four, five items, it will basically allocate each one as an integer and put it into the example array allocating five spaces. So we would access example ARR4 from 0 to 4. They must be of the same type because arrays must be of the same type so you could not mix and match there. If there was a need to mix and match variables we would actually create what's called a class which we'll learn shortly, uh, create an object so that the objects would have the different values but an array of objects would basically be of the same type.